not very likely. All right, let's get to our next potential weather maker. Will it be a lot of questions for late week? So this is potential tropical cyclone 18. That's a mouthful. Basically, we have a low pressure disturbance in the Southern Caribbean here. So the question is, where is it headed? Well, it's going to move off to the north here over the next couple of days. It might make a couple landfalls, some of these islands in the Caribbean. Uh, this is Cuba here Wednesday at noon. And then it moves even further to the north. A couple things working against this, though, and that's why I've plotted this on here. We're going to have decent what we call wind shear. That's a wind change in direction or speed with height. Winds at the surface will be coming in out of the east. Winds aloft will be westerly. And those ingredients, we talk about wind shear for severe weather. Wind shear is bad for hurricanes, tropical systems, so we expect this to weaken into the Gulf. And notice the wide cone of uncertainty. We just do not know. This could bring some beneficial rain to parts of the state, depending on its track. Something else to keep in mind, too. A month, two months. All right, let's get over to Jen because we are watching an area in the tropics right now. Yeah, the Caribbean Sea is where our next name system will develop. We're monitoring potential tropical cyclone 18. It's designated as a potential tropical cyclone, this cluster of disorganized showers and thunderstorms, just so that the National Hurricane Center can issue advisories. We already have uh, tropical storm watches and hurricane warnings in effect for parts of uh, Jamaica and uh, the Cayman Islands. This will become a tropical storm as soon as today. The next name of the season is Rafael, and then eventually becoming a hurricane as it enters the Gulf of Mexico. Notice that it is off to our west, so we will see indirect impacts from this system once it enters the Gulf of Mexico in the way of increased tropical moisture, the potential for periods of heavy rainfall and gusty conditions through the middle of this week. Rainfall uh, accumulation is not significant, generally about one to three inches of rainfall here across the state of Florida. And again, our next name of the se season is Rafael. We are monitoring another area just to the north of the greater Antilles. This only has about a 20% chance development over the next seven days. We could see an area of low pressure form in that general region. Windy with storms 